Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. On January 31st, Kyungi Province Governor Lee Jae Myung met with members of the public to gather opinions prior to the implementation of provincial animal protection and welfare policies, for which the province has earmarked 30 billion Korean won. Two years ago, Lee adopted two abandoned animals she met while working at the Kyungi Province Assistance Dog Sharing Center. While her initial motivation was to help these animals, they have since become valuable family members that she relies on. This year, Kyungi Province aims to create a province in which humans and animals live happily together. To this end, the province will invest 38.6 billion Korean won in 29 projects through four categories. Animal welfare improvement, pet culture promotion, shared happiness of humans and animals, and project governance establishment. This meeting featured more than 10 representatives of animal protection organizations and animal adopters. During the meeting, participants presented various suggestions such as compulsory vaccinations in animal shelters, compulsory neutering before adoption, and the improvement of adoption conditions. Participants were also interested in a temporary assistance dog protection and leashed yard dog neutering plans of the province. Governor Lee stated that the happiness of animals leads to the happiness of humans and that policy changes are necessary to meet the needs of a life-respecting society. Governor Lee also stated that violations such as animal abuse cannot be punished without related legal provisions and asked related organizations to help with the realization of such legislation. Kyungi Province Governor Lee Jae Myung and Suwon City Mayor Yum Tae Young agreed to cooperate and adopted a joint proposal to the central government for the early commencement of Shin Bundang subway line extension work. The extension includes four stations and spans 9.7 kilometers between Gwangyo and Homeishil stations. After a prolonged delay, this extension project was finalized as it passed the related ministry's preliminary feasibility study. When completed, this extension will reduce travel time between Homeishil in Suwon and Gangnam in Seoul to 40 minutes, approximately 50 minutes less than travel by bus. The Ministry of Land, Infrastructure and Transport currently plans to begin extension work in 2023. On February 3rd, the two authorities announced their adoption of a joint proposal for the early commencement of Shinbundang subway line extension work. The two authorities also agreed to establish an executive committee for the realization of this project. 2023년 착공되는 것으로 알고 있지만 이것도 어 우리가 그 정말 본 궤도에 올라서 제대로 공기를 지켜 나가기 위해서는 조금 더 차질이 있어서는 안 되기 때문에 The executive committee will provide active cooperation in related matters including administrative support. With the number of confirmed novel coronavirus cases increasing, Kyungi Province undertook the protection of traditional markets and backstreet commercial areas through the emergency supply of hygiene products, including masks and hand sanitizers. The number of shoppers at this traditional market in Suwon City has dropped to one-tenth of the usual numbers after the announcement of a new novel coronavirus case in an adjacent area. <laughs> Kyungi 
Gyeonggi Province began supplying masks and hand sanitizers to small businesses in traditional markets and backstreet areas so as to help reduce economic losses by reducing infection risks in those areas. The coronavirus has been the province will also work with regional small business associations to prevent the spread of the contagion, increase the number of disinfection activities, and provide education on preventive measures. 상인들과 또 우리 또 시민들과 함께 열심히 노력해서 이좀 지금은 어렵지만은 잘 극복해 나가서 다시 또 전통 시장의 활력을 찾을 수 있도록 최선을 노력을 다하겠습니다. The province is monitoring traditional market and economic situations and will take additional measures to revive backstreet commerce if current circumstances persist for more than three months. With the novel coronavirus that originated from Wuhan city of Hubei province in China becoming a constant focus of media in Korea, the Korean government has banned the entry of foreigners who visited Hubei province. The Korean tourism industry was directly hit by this situation, with the number of tourists dropping and reservations continuously being cancelled. To address the situation, Gyeonggi Province convened a meeting with the Gyeonggi Tourism Organization and tourism industry representatives to discuss response measures. The World Health Organization has declared the outbreak of the novel coronavirus to be an international emergency situation. With the number of confirmed infection cases continuing to increase in Korea, a large number of people are refraining from leaving their homes. With the number of reservations and events at tourist destinations being continuously cancelled, the number of visitors has also decreased by 30% compared with last year. Overall, tourism businesses are experiencing a serious slump. During the meeting, more than 50 attendees from the tourism, accommodation and aviation industries were briefed about tourism market damage and shared opinions. 3월 20일까지는 여행 예약률이 거의 100%에 가까울 정도의 취소가 지금 되고 있는 상황입니다. Topics of discussion included proactive measures, including those for the safety of local and foreign tourists, as well as support for affected tourism businesses. 피해가 최소화되도록 뭐 민관이 같이 이렇게 해야 될 거라고 생각을 합니다. Following suggestions made at the meeting, Gyeonggi Province will set up infectious disease prevention information boards at tourism destinations and supply masks and hand sanitizers to tourism business employees. The Gyeonggi Arts Center, a representative performance venue of Gyeonggi Province, announced that it will introduce a repertoire season system this year for the first time in its 30-year history. Our reporter examined the details. On February 4th, the Gyeonggi Arts Center revealed performance events it has prepared for this year. During the season, the Gyeonggi Provincial Dance Troupe will present a range of new performances, including traditional and modern dances. The Gyeonggi Provincial Korean Classical Music Company will present Shinawi, an impromptu performance that combines traditional rhythms with Western instrumental music. 재즈적인 거, 클래식적인 거, 월드 뮤직, 뭐 일렉트로닉 뮤직 이런 거 모든 현대 음악의 총체성을 우리 그 오케스트라 포맷 안에서 그런 다양한 맛을 이제 요리를 선보일 거거든요. 이거는 것을 즐기시면 되겠습니다. This year's Gyeonggi Arts Center repertoire season begins on February 27th and ends on December 22nd. During this 300-day season, a total of 125 performances will be presented through 31 events staged by the Provincial Drama Company, Dance Company, Korean Classical Music Company, and Philharmonic Orchestra under the themes of change, challenge, future, and progression, respectively. Gyeonggi 
곧 기대하셔도 좋을 것 같습니다. On February 5th, the first Gyeonggi Resident Policy Festival took place. During the event, residents of Gyeonggi Province proposed, discussed, and evaluated various policies. During the festival, evaluations of the discussion results pertaining to 16 proposed policies also took place with the participation of more than 50 related provincial officials, public and private cooperative governance committee members, and policy advisors. In response to the request for free activity spaces for youths, participants agreed to establish a youth training center, cultural centers, and hue cafes. Regarding proposals for small library committee support and small library support center establishment, the development of small library promotion policies led by representative provincial libraries was agreed upon. During evaluation reports, discussion results pertaining to 16 proposed policies were shared. The proposals made during policy discussions will be addressed through collaboration with related provincial departments. Progress details will be shared online and offline on a quarterly basis. The second Gyeonggi Resident Policy Festival for the discussion of potential provincial policies is slated for September or October this year. With the number of confirmed novel coronavirus cases continuously increasing every day, people in Korea are overwhelmed by fears of virus contraction as well as by xenophobia and rumors. In the midst of such social anxiety, there are those who voluntarily work to protect their families and neighbors. GTV examined the heartwarming stories of such heroes. 엘리베이터 한 버튼들이랑 손잡이 닦아 놓았어요. 당분간은 매일 한 번씩 닦아 볼게요. This is a note found on the bulletin board of an apartment building in Hwasong City. On January 31st, a resident of this apartment building posted this note on an apartment bulletin board. He has been voluntarily sterilizing the apartment elevator and lobby on a daily basis to protect residents from the novel coronavirus. Thank you notes from neighbors soon followed. 대단한 일을 하겠다고 시작한 거는 아니었는데 많은 분들이 좋아해 주시고 응원을 해 주셔서 감사하고요. 대한민국 국민으로서 작게나마 지역 사회에서 실천할 수 있는 계기가 되어서 뿌듯합니다. In a traditional market in Suwon City, a merchant association distributed 50 masks to each merchant in the market to safeguard against the novel coronavirus. It also performs quarantine activities twice daily so as to ensure a clean market environment. These people are heroes, little giants, whose humanity shines in a crisis situation. They are inspiring their neighbors to overcome the hardships caused by this virus. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.